You probably think you know Mercury, closest planet to the sun, right? So it must be the hottest, a scorched, lifeless wasteland. And yeah, that's what the textbooks would have you believe. But what if I told you Mercury isn't even the hottest planet in our solar system? What if this sun-baked world, where you'd expect nothing but dry rock, actually hides ice? What if its strange, oversized core, bizarre orbit, and magnetic shield break the very rules of how planets are supposed to form? It's time to throw out the old textbooks. Because Mercury is no ordinary rock, it's a cosmic enigma, a planet of contradictions, and solving its mystery might unlock the story of how our entire solar system was born. I am Jay, and you're watching Astrosium. Let's get to our topic. For decades, Mercury was the forgotten planet, overshadowed by the red drama of Mars, the storms of Jupiter, and the rings of Saturn. But this small world, barely bigger than our moon, is anything but simple. It's a cosmic troublemaker. In this video, we're diving deep into Mercury's biggest surprises. How ice can survive on a planet that close to the sun. Why its core is too big for its body. And how it has a magnetic field that still confuses scientists. We'll explore missions like NASA's Messenger and the European-Japanese Bepi Colombo, which are finally revealing the truth about this strange world, one that textbooks barely scratched the surface of. Let's begin. Let's start with that first big misconception. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, orbiting at an average distance of just 58 million kilometers. So, logically, it should be the hottest, right? Wrong. That title belongs to Venus. While Mercury can reach a scorching 427 degrees Celsius, on its sun-facing side, its nighttime temperatures plummet to a frigid minus 173 degrees Celsius, minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a swing of over 600 degrees Celsius. Why such extreme swings? Because Mercury has virtually no atmosphere. Unlike Earth, with its cozy atmospheric blanket, Mercury has no thick layer of gas to trap heat. It's exposed, raw, and at the mercy of the sun's relentless glare and the vacuum of space. This lack of atmosphere also means Mercury has a truly bizarre day. One full day-night cycle on Mercury lasts a staggering 176 Earth days. Imagine a sunrise that takes months. Now, here's where it gets truly wild. On this planet of extreme heat and cold, scientists have found ice. Not just a little, but vast deposits of water ice, enough to fill entire lakes. How is this possible? The answer lies in Mercury's unique tilt and its deep craters. Mercury has almost no axial tilt, meaning its poles receive very little direct sunlight. Deep craters near the poles act like natural cold traps, their floors permanently shadowed, never seeing the sun's rays. Temperatures in these eternal shadows can drop to a bone-chilling minus 235 degrees Celsius, cold enough to preserve ice for billions of years. The discovery of this ice, confirmed by NASA's MESSENGER mission in 2012, was a game-changer. But where did the ice come from? One theory suggests comets, rich in water, slammed into Mercury over eons, depositing their icy cargo. But there's an even more counterintuitive idea, that the sun's intense heat actually helps create some of the ice. Researcher Brant Jones and his team at Georgia Tech proposed that the extreme heat frees up hydroxyl groups from minerals in Mercury's soil. These energized hydroxyls then collide, forming water molecules and hydrogen. Some of these water molecules drift into those permanently shadowed craters, get trapped, and freeze. 
It's like Mercury is its own ice-making chemistry lab, powered by the very star that tries to bake it dry. Perhaps Mercury's most defining and baffling feature lies deep within its core. Unlike Earth, where the metallic core makes up about 15% of the planet's volume, Mercury's core is gargantuan. It accounts for a whopping 60% of its entire volume and about three quarters of its mass. Imagine a planet that's almost all core. This disproportionately large core has been one of Mercury's most enduring mysteries. Why is it so iron rich? For a long time, scientists debated whether a catastrophic collision early in its history stripped away most of its rocky outer layers, leaving behind a dense metallic remnant. But recent research offers a different, even more cosmic explanation. A study by William McDonough from the University of Maryland and Takashi Yoshizaki from Tohoku University suggests the sun itself is responsible. Their model proposes that during the early formation of our solar system, the sun's powerful magnetic field acted like a giant magnet, pulling tiny iron grains inward through the swirling dust and gas cloud. Planets closer to the sun, like Mercury, would have accumulated more of this iron, while those further out, like Mars, would have gathered less. This means Mercury's massive core isn't a result of destruction, but of its prime, iron-rich location in the solar nursery. And thanks to data from the MESSENGER mission, we now know that Mercury's core isn't just molten, it has a solid inner core, much like Earth's, discovered by Antonio Genova and his team in 2019. This solid inner core, about 2,000 kilometers wide, is still growing, slowly cooling the planet from the inside out. Speaking of that core, it leads us to another profound mystery. Mercury's magnetic field. When NASA's Mariner 10 spacecraft first flew past Mercury in 1974, it detected a magnetic field. This was a huge surprise. Scientists thought Mercury, being so small and rotating so slowly, once every 59 Earth days, wouldn't have enough internal heat or motion to generate one. On Earth, our magnetic field is generated by a dynamo, the convection of molten iron in our outer core. For Mercury to have one, it meant its outer core had to be at least partially liquid and actively convecting. But how old is this magnetic field, and how has it persisted? Data from MESSENGER's final daring low-altitude passes, just 25 kilometers above the surface, allowed scientists like Katherine Johnson from the University of British Columbia to detect fossilized magnetic signals in ancient rocks. Her research revealed that Mercury's magnetic field has been active for at least 3.8 billion years, almost as long as the planet itself. Today, Mercury's magnetic field is about 100 times weaker than Earth's. Scientists believe the convecting region in its outer core is getting progressively thinner, which explains its relative weakness. But the fact that it exists at all, and has persisted for so long, makes Mercury unique among the inner rocky planets besides Earth. Mars, for example, lost its global magnetic field billions of years ago. Understanding Mercury's dynamo could offer crucial insights into the evolution of planetary magnetic fields, including our own. The surprises don't stop there. Textbooks often depicted Mercury as completely devoid of volatile elements. Those compounds with low boiling points, like water, sulfur, and potassium, that are crucial for geological activity and, potentially, life. The extreme heat should have baked them all away. Yet, MESSENGER found Mercury's crust is surprisingly rich in these volatiles, including sulfur, sodium, and potassium. This discovery challenged long-held theories about Mercury's formation, suggesting it either formed from volatile-rich materials or somehow retained them despite its harsh environment. 
Evidence of these volatiles can be seen in strange, shallow depressions on Mercury's surface called hollows. These unique features, first noticed as bright splotches, are thought to form when volatiles beneath the surface vaporize and escape, causing the ground to collapse. We've also found evidence of explosive volcanism, driven by these very same volatile gases, which continued for a substantial portion of Mercury's history. Some scientists, like Alexis P. Rodriguez, even theorize that Mercury's chaotic terrain, a jumbled landscape of hills and valleys, might have been formed by the sudden outgassing of volatiles from beneath the surface. And Mercury isn't done changing. Despite its ancient appearance, this little planet is still shrinking. As its massive core slowly cools, the planet contracts, causing its surface to wrinkle and form towering cliffs called lobate scarps. It's a slow, cosmic squeeze, a testament to the ongoing geological processes deep within. To unlock Mercury's deepest mysteries, we need more than just old flybys. We need precision. That's where BepiColombo comes in. A joint mission from Europe and Japan, BepiColombo was launched in 2018 and is taking the long way, a seven-year journey using gravity assists from Earth, Venus, and Mercury itself to arrive in orbit by 2026. But it's not just one spacecraft. It's two. The Mercury Planetary Orbiter will map the surface, interior, and even trace elements using advanced instruments like the X-ray spectrometer MIX-S, led by scientists including David Rothery. The Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter will focus on the planet's magnetic field and its battle with the solar wind, with help from researchers like Stefano Livi and James Slavin. Along the way, Bepi Colombo has already made stunning flybys, snapping mid-infrared images no one's ever seen before. And this is just the beginning. When it finally settles into orbit, we'll have our clearest view yet of Mercury's surface, structure, and magnetic oddities. So the next time you hear about Mercury, Remember, it's not just a hot rock. It's a planet that defies expectations at every turn. It's a world with ice on its poles, a heart of iron disproportionately large, and a magnetic field that shouldn't exist. It's rich in elements that should have vanished, and it's still shrinking. Mercury is a living, breathing laboratory for planetary science, teaching us that the universe is far more creative and complex than our initial assumptions. It reminds us that even the most familiar objects in our cosmic backyard can hold profound secrets, challenging our understanding of how planets form, evolve, and sustain themselves. And in doing so, Mercury helps us look beyond our solar system to the thousands of exoplanets we're discovering and wonder what other incredible counterintuitive truths are waiting to be unraveled out there? If you like this video, I recommend watch these videos also. You'd love them.